Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you so, so much for tuning in again. My name is Tandor and you are now tuned in to Dollface at Home. So as you all know, I've also got an Instagram page. So if you can, please head on over there and do follow me. I do drop my stuff there a lot more frequently. And I do like to do like a combination of where I'll put in like the beginning part of a makeover onto YouTube and then finish it off on Instagram or vice versa. So it does really help and it works well or better together. So if you can, please subscribe and follow me both on YouTube and on Instagram. I would really, really appreciate it. To my returning subscribers, guys, thank you so much for staying loyal and tuning in again. And to whoever's new, I hope you do enjoy it and like it here and drop a like, subscribe and do share this content with your friends. I'd really appreciate that so, so much. So what I'm doing today, a little bit of uh, the rest of my unboxing for a lamp that I had purchased from a friend and as well as my attempt at making a large scale canvas piece for my entryway. So I'm done with the canvas piece. I've only managed to get as far as finishing the prime work. So as I mentioned earlier, um, the rest of this DIY is gonna be updated on my Instagram page, probably on stories or as a reel or a combination of the two. So please do stay tuned for that on there later. I'm also going to be dropping some inspo pics on my Instagram as well um, of what I'm trying to go for. So I'm looking for a very abstract because I don't think you could get abstract wrong. Um, maybe geometric, I'm not sure as yet, but I am looking in the monochromatic nude co like color palette. Um, I am also going to frame this later on and maybe put some protective lacquer paint on, on it. But this is going to be like a gradually done project as I'm still to source the rest of the items that I need for it. But please do stay tuned and check out how I got my canvas uh, made and put together as you can see over there. And then do stay tuned as well for the first part of the video which is going to be my unboxing and mini style of my lounge area updates. Hey again guys, so it's me just getting started on the frame for the canvas piece, doing some measuring up, but this is mostly going to be just a step-by-step -step how to on how to make your canvas piece, however size you might try it. So I'm using here for this entire piece, my Black & Decker Multi Evo tool set. So the first part of it that I'm going to be using is the jigsaw component. To cut up my measured pieces into sizes that are required for this project so i had those uh two pieces of cubic wood which was in a size 2.4 and as well as a three meter so i halved both of those i am now changing up the tool head into a screwdriver or a driver just to make holes in my pieces of wood there i test it out and then I'll lock it again in place just so that it doesn't move and for safety requirements. So after I'd made the holes, I then uh, put it together just to measure it up. And then I glued it again together with some wood bonding glue. And then I weighed it down just so that it tacks and sticks together. This I did, I believe, overnight. But that's also because I had plans and I had left it on the floor lying like that for overnight.
so for me to be able to secure the frame and uh, keep it in place was not to just rely on the wood glue but i did drill some larger screw holes so that i can actually add uh, actual screws and tighten it up and make it more secure Screwing the nails in actually took very little time and I was done in no time with that. So after which then I could lay my canvas down and have everything be put together for the final and completed canvas piece that I am going to prep for painting. So I then laid my canvas with the waterproof side up and cut it down to size and then began to clip it in place with my staple gun. After clipping it in on the first side, when I go on to the opposite end, I have to make sure that I pull it tightly enough so that it doesn't fold or sag in the middle. So the only way I could accurately describe to you guys on how to fold over the corners is as if you were making a hospital bed. I uh, fold over the one side and then tap and fold over the adjacent side just so that it comes over and above the other piece. And the last part of our video today is actually me priming this piece and preparing it for paint. So you prime your canvas so that when you paint it eventually it doesn't rot. What I used instead of buying the actual canvas primer or the gesso I uh, had some um, chalk paint on hand and you can really use that as the canvas itself was not waxed or sealed. So, so far I'd only done one coat of the priming chalk paint onto this canvas and I allowed it to dry for I think about four hours and I will still check and see if I need to do another coat of it. If not, then I'm going to be beginning with my painting of the actual canvas piece itself. So I'll be dropping a few inspo pics below just to show you guys what kind of ideas that I'm having and how I'm going to be placing this so for now this is it for me guys please do enjoy the rest of the video and drop a flower in the comment section if you got this far i appreciate you guys and don't forget to subscribe and follow